Welcome to the homework for lesson 11. This is module 5 of first grade. Get your name on here first, please. And then it says circle the correct clock. So for number 1, it says we want half past 2 o'clock. So for all these half past numbers, we want the minute hand. It's a long hand. And you might remember from, uh, you might remember from uh, the last homework assignment, the memory key that I like to use is that the word minute is longer than the word hour. So the minute hand is longer than the hour hand. It kind of helps you remember which one is which. And at half past, the minute hand is going to be pointing, it's going to be touching the six at just regular o'clock. It's going to be touching um, the 12 and it's the shorthand the hour hand that's going to be pointing sometimes in between two numbers when it's in between two numbers like it when it's whenever it says half past it's going to be in between two because think about it this hour hand is moving all the time so when it's half past two o'clock it's going to be this right here is half past it's halfway in between the one and the two so it's going in this direction. It's past the one, halfway to the two, but it's that would be half past one, not half past two. So I'm going to keep looking. And this one here is looks like it's pointing about right in the middle between two and three. There's the minute hand pointing down at the six. So it's halfway at past the two on its way to the three half past two o'clock that's the one this one here is just regular two o'clock because the minute hand is pointing up at the 12. half past 10 o'clock so half past 10 means the hour hand is going to be in between the 10 it's going to be after the 10 what comes after 10 11 so it's going to be in between the 10 and the 11 right in the middle between the two so it's half past the 10 on its way to the 11 halfway in between 10 and 11 and there's the minute hand pointing down at the six so that's half past ten right there already this one here would be half past eleven because it's in between the eleven and the twelve and this here would be half past twelve because it's in between the twelve and the one six o'clock now this is just regular o'clock so the minute hands should be pointing up to the twelve and the hour hand right on the six and that's what we have right here on the first one these are both that's half past right this one is half past five because it's halfway past the five on its way to the six and this one here is half past six because it's half past the six we go the clock hands always go in this direction it's halfway past the six on its way to the seven so that's half past six that's half past and so we already know the, the six o'clock. Just wanted to talk about what the other ones are. Now we're looking at half past eight o'clock. Well, this right here is right on the four. The hour hand's right on the four, and the minute hand goes up to the twelve, so that's four o'clock. So it's not half past eight. And then here we have the hour hand in between the eight and the nine. The minute hand is pointing at the six, so that's that's halfway around. We call it half past because it's halfway around. You know, if we went all the way around the clock like this, this would be halfway. The six would be halfway to 12. So that's half past eight o'clock. Right here, the hour hand is in between, right in the middle between the eight and nine, halfway between half, it's halfway past the eight on its way to nine. So this, that's the ones, that one is half past eight. All right. And I'll write the time shown on each clock to tell about Lee's day. Lee wakes up, so he's waking up in the morning. This looks like half past six. If we're going to write the time digitally, it'll be six o'clock and 30 minutes. And then next, he takes the bus to school. This is about an hour later. And you can see this is in between the, the hour hand here is in between the 7 and the 8. So that's half past 7. And you can see the hour hand down here at the 6. The, the minute hand, I'm sorry, is down here at the 6. 
So that's going to be 7 o'clock and 30 minutes. He has math at, so this is still in the morning. It's in between the hour hand here, that's a shorter hand. It's in between the 10 and the 11. So it's still 10 o'clock. And it's half past, so it's 30 minutes. Here we have, he's eating lunch. And you can see the, there's the minute hand down at the six, so you know it's going to be 30 minutes. It's half past something. The hour hand tells you it's in between right here. It's in between the 12 and the 1. So it's not 1 o'clock yet. It's still 12 o'clock. It's 12 o'clock and 30 minutes. Oops, I almost wrote 13 o'clock there. That's no good. 12.30. He has basketball practice. So this is after school's over. And it's half past again because the long hand, the minute hand, is there. So it's going to be 30 minutes. And it's in between the 3 and the 4. So that's 3 o'clock and 30 minutes. 3.30. He does his homework at... This is in between our hand is a shorthand again. That's in between the four and the five. So that's four o'clock and 30 minutes or 430. And he eats dinner at this is in between the hour hand again. The shorthand is in between the five and the six. You can see the minute hand right on the six. So this is going to be 30 minutes half past something. And it's in between the 5 and the 6, so it's half past 5, 5.30. And he goes to bed at, minute hand is there, that's going to be 30 minutes. So it's half past something, in between the 7 and the 8, so it's after 7 o'clock, but it's not 8 o'clock yet, so it's 7 o'clock and 30 minutes, or we just say 7.30.